All right, we finally finished Team Affinity Chapter 1. We've worked a metric ton, so I've been behind the ball, but we got it done. With that, we've unlocked some cool stuff. We got three Easter eggs so far. We got to get that done soon. That's one of the next steps. We're going to go to the season collections here and get Craig Biggio. I don't think I bought a single one of these dudes. Just Grayson Rodriguez. I think we can do without the 10K, but we'll see. His price might go up, so maybe we'll hold on to him and get him out of a rewind pack. I don't know. <sighs> Well, there you go. Craig Biggio is ours. We have a lot of progress to make on the live series collections, and I'll show you real quick. Let's start with the Red Sox. We got all of those. Welcome, Andre Dawson. We have almost every collection done that doesn't have diamonds. So there's the Rays. Welcome, Carlos Pena. The White Sox are done, so give me that and give me Mike Cameron. Detroit Tigers. Welcome, Ian Kinsler. Bobby Witt, we pulled him a couple times, and I bought an extra one because... I think he's going to go above 90 and get real expensive. So give me the Royals. Give me Raul Abanez. Minnesota Twins, give me that. Tony Oliva, new legend. It's funny if we didn't do the A's because all those cards are overpriced. We're just going to pull them out of packs and lock them in. The Marlins are done. Give me Dontrell Willis. He would have been so good if we still had pitchers hitting, man. Washington Nationals are done, so give me that. And give me Tim Raines. The Central's pretty easy. We got the Cubs. Thank you, Lee Smith. Give me the Reds. And we'll take Ryan Ludwig. Milwaukee Brewers are done. Give me Ryan Braun. Pittsburgh Pirates are done. Give me Ralph Kiner. And last but not least for the NL Central, give me the Cardinals and Matt Holiday. We also have some teams done in the NL West. We're going to take the Rockies here and give Vinny Castilla. San Francisco Giants right here. Shout out to that Blake Snell poll. Give me Joe Nathan. Now, just like that, we got a ton of teams done without actually spending any subs, without going into a deficit on subs. To explain how you get the cards for free, basically, take a look at the Rockies. So obviously the commons are easy to buy because every one of them is worth basically five stubs. But in this example, you would put in the buy order of five stubs here, right? Put in a couple orders of five stubs. There goes a buy order. We own him. Make a sell order. The buy now price, my face is hiding it right now, is 27 stubs. You put in an order at 26 stubs. After tax, comes out to 23. Not a big profit, but you're not paying for this card anymore. You're getting a couple of commons back for free. Now, if you do this with a bunch of cards, some of them are bigger margins than others too. 37, 40 stubs. 38 with 96. For this card right here, you buy for 39, you sell for 95, you do it a couple times, that card becomes free. You can do it with pretty much every common in bronze. The silvers can be tricky. Don't always worry about it with the golds and diamonds. But this will pretty much let you get subs for free. We have not played a lot. We have not flipped a lot. But we have half of these teams done, and we still have over 104,000 subs. Left. And we always go one stub over, one stub under. A lot of people like to drop by a lot. If you want to get one order in and out, that's fine. But all you're doing is hurting yourself. Take... Take every stub you can, you know? Here, we picked up Elias Diaz. Look at that. So we're gonna sell this guy for 64. You're getting another 29 stubs back. That card is paid for, it. and then twofold. That pays for another bronze. Chris Bryant, give me that. For 87, get 78 afterwards. That's double the price. If you go on your phone, you can spam the orders over and over and over and over again too. That'll get you a lot of stubs if it builds up. Sometimes the gold and diamonds take a while to flip. Also, you can organize buy dupes in your MLB The Show app, which makes this easier to filter through. Peter Lambert sell for 97. Do that. Another 87. It's a profit. So pretty much do that over and over again. You're getting the low part of this inventory done easy and for free and possibly with some extra stubs. Now, as you see here, 200, 200, 400, and 500. That's also paying you for getting those collections done without a diamond. So you're getting over a thousand stubs for those teams without really spending any stubs. So it adds up. So while we do that over and over and over again, the stubs will begin to percolate. Um, also, we got to open up some packs to get these um, Easter eggs. You got to get jelly beans and exchange them to get an egg for the program progress. So we should probably open some of these. We got 59 standards. We might even pull a diamond out of this. One out of 50 odds for a diamond. Let's hope for some jelly beans and let's hope for some diamonds. Ramon, I know you're looking at it for me.
All right, well, we got the jelly beans. And we pulled Austin Meadows. Get a lot of those flashback goals. More jelly beans. How many jelly beans do you need? Okay. Alright, keep those jelly beans coming, man. Although, say, like, the diamond tint is kind of messy with me. Do you get that often? I don't like. This might be the first time we completely strike out on packs. That's bugging me out, man. It's getting me way too excited. Even if we get a bunch of golds, that's cool, because then we get stubs out of those, too. Almost every card we pull out of these now are dupes. The only ones that aren't going to be dupes are diamonds. Come on, baby. We'll take whatever we get out of these packs. I wouldn't hate it if it was a diamond card. They're free. It's always profit. Team no money spent. Can't lie. I'm starting to get a little pessimistic here. I don't know if that helps or harms at this point. We're getting a bunch of the A's. We didn't collect them because they're overpriced for their cost because there's no diamonds or golds. Are there even silvers on the team? I don't know. We need more jelly beans, I think. We gotta be close to 15. I guess. Okay, and we're gonna get a diamond out of this. It's it's all a bonus, man. This could be like an 85. It's okay. It's a low diamond. Who is you? Albies. We don't have Albies. Let's go. Let's get the Braves going then. We'll take it. That's probably our only diamond out of this. It's fine. Yeah, we'll take that. I was genuinely shocked when I saw the diamond. That's how low my expectations got. When we do like the 100, 120 packs, you're like, okay, we gotta get something at this point, you know? This is a little less, so I was really, really taken back by it. There's no way we get another one, right? A lot of jelly beans. We got another one! Two out of 59? Come on, baby. Talk to me. I don't mind, man. Zach Wheeler will get the Phillies going now. Stay hot, kids. Stay hot. One left. Can we get something here? More than jelly beans? Really, really unlikely. Not even a jelly bean. All right, that's solid. That's solid. Let's get the Phillies done today. Get them done tonight. Let's see if we can do that. Save a couple hundred subs. Trey went through. That order went fast. Forgot about Wit. Give me the Phillies. Don Crock on the squad. We now have 16 teams done. It's still gonna be very expensive for the other half. Otani, Mookie, Freddy. Like, like we got we got some expensive diamonds out of the way. We gotta get Trout. Also, if you guys need packs. This is going to help you. The only team affinity gets you a bunch of these throwback jerseys. If you get 10 jerseys collected here alone, that's six packs. Same thing for the NL. The alternates too. If we can get up to 10, we get five more packs. We already got that free one down there. So you're not really spending any stubs. Once again, three packs. You guys want to collect a bunch of these jerseys? We have 41 right now, so you can unlock another free pack here. 
These are 500 stubs each, though, for the jerseys, so I wouldn't go too crazy on that. 10 packs for that? Mm. Mm. But you know what I do like? These are cheap. They're easy to get out of packs. Oh, we have 89 of these guys. We'll unlock six more. Give me that. If we get another one, that would be crazy. We won't, but... More jelly beans, though. Come on. Do it for the channel. Dreamer luck. Dreamer luck. All right, fine. No way! We pulled three diamonds out of 65 packs. Yes, is that Hater? Or is that... It is! Let's go! Yo, I asked for the streamer luck. I got the streamer luck. Hook it up, man. We'll take it. I'm just blessed. So these we're saving for a later video. I promise you guys are going to want to see this. There's a bunch of kids that come into my pizza shop that I manage that watch the videos. I promise them we're going to do a pack opening in the store. I'm bringing my monitor. I'm bringing my PS5. We're going to we're going to get that going. It's going to be really cool. But anyway, that wraps up this episode of No Money Spent. I hope you guys enjoy it. As always, like the video. Sub if you enjoy. Until next time, peace out.